Hey, Juan, this is Chris Biederman from the Sacramento Bee. Um, I assume you've covered George Kittle quite a bit during, during practices, um, and I'm sure you've covered a, a bunch of other tight ends throughout the league. I, I know a lot of people consider him he's the best, and I would expect you to say something similar, but what's it like to try to cover George Kittle from, from a defensive back's perspective? Uh, you just got to be disciplined from the start of the down to the end because he's just real crafty, he's strong, and he's just relentless in everything he does. You know, he's, he's willing to block in the run game. So you just got to be on your A game going against a guy like that. Hey, Juan, obviously uh, a lot of things changed during this offseason, kind of a wild time, including the, the salary cap for next year. I'm curious, as a, as a guy who's scheduled to be a free agent after this season, if you paid much attention to the potential salary cap drop, and uh, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, I haven't really paid too much focus on that. I just leave that stuff to my agent and uh, those guys, and then they'll take care of it. Hey, K1, can you kind of take us through what makes a good nickelback? What are the qualities that contribute to being able to do that very unique skill set? And how are some of the guys behind you? What have you seen from them and how they've developed since you've been with the organization? Uh, just with a, playing nickel, you just got to be real disciplined and you got to got to love your job because, you know, you got to do a lot of dirty work. You probably got to fit in a run game. Um, you got to cover well, cover these slot receivers well. Um, you just got to be a, a complete defender, being a smaller guy in there, being able to mix it up with some of the big guys and uh, cover the smaller guys. And uh, in terms of the, in terms of the development in our group, I mean, it's it's been great. Um, the guys just picking up on all our tendencies in terms of how we do our drops, and um, we're just working every day and just grinding. And the guys are getting better. Hey, Kwan, you were extremely effective as a blitzer last season. I think you had four forced fumbles and a sack. What do you think made you so effective coming off the edge? And, and do you expect to have more of those opportunities this year? Uh, just practice. Just keep doing it every day. Um, uh, just being real serious every time I blitz, uh, take a good rush path, and and just keep my eyes on the ball and try to make plays when I get to arrive at the quarterback. Okay, well, I'm curious as to what your – how much – juice do you get from a crowd and what will it be like to play in a game if there is no crowd uh it'll be a different dynamic but i feel like you're gonna have to bring your own juice and uh be, be ready to play football uh in the environment i feel like you just gotta be able to adapt and um just play at a high level hey k1 it's jennifer uh the other day jimmy garoppolo spoke about jarek mckinnon how he runs his routes differently than other receivers even though he's a running back he kind of has that quarterback mentality because he played that position what do you see from him and how is he different when you have to cover him or when you watch him um i mean he's definitely worked this off season uh, i'm excited to see him out there just being able to make sharp cuts and um being confident in his uh in his body and just being able to make plays and this has been amazing just to see him out there and battling with us again Hey, K1, Kyle Posey, Niners Nation. Where do you think you improved the most as a player last season, and how can you still how can you improve more even in 2020? Uh, just understanding uh, everybody's role around me and just being able to just play hard, you know, just go out there and try to make a difference for your defense and just make plays whenever they arrive. And uh, this year is, a, is another step to get better. Um, we didn't like how last year ended, so it's a lot of room for improvement and just been playing, paying the price every day and just working on our technique. Hey, K1, you just mentioned uh, Jarek McKinnon. Uh, your team has a lot of different options that they can line up in the slot this year. Um, Juwan Jennings, Jalen Hurd, Trent Taylor. What does that present to a defense? I mean, from a, from a nickel cornerback's perspective, when you've got that wide array of you know, weapons that you can line up in that spot. Or you just got to be prepared for 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 all kind of different receivers. You know, you got bigger, stronger guys and Jalen and those guys. And you got scat guys like Trent. You know, it's going to give you a lot of a lot of moves and real shifty. So you just got to be uh, real disciplined in your technique and just, um, just try to cover those guys as best as you can. Okay, when D4 just told us that he thought we only saw glimpses of what he could be last year because of he had a, a knee injury in training camp and then this hamstring thing. If, if he's back and you got that jet coming off consistently for the course of a season, 
what kind of difference would that make for your defense? Uh, it makes a big difference. Having D out there just opens up a lot of rush lanes for other guys. So just knowing knowing he's out there, I, I know we're just going to be able to attack the ball consistently, having him out there. And I feel like he's he's done a great job, you know, taking care of his body this offseason and been grinding ever since. AK1, it's Tracy Sandler. You just said that last season uh, obviously didn't end how you wanted it to. And Raheem said last week that you guys have unfinished business and this year you're going to finish it. Can you talk a little bit about that mindset that's out there in the locker room right now? Uh, everybody just got their mind on one goal, and that's just uh, attacking every day and um, not, not, you know, not forgetting what, what got us here, you know, just being able to work hard every day and just, just try to get back to that moment so we can finish it. All right. Hey, K1, what's the attitude been like when you uh, think about the off season and kind of getting back? Everybody's talked about how exciting it's been. Raheem talked about it not being a walkthrough. It was more like a run through. A couple of guys have said it's kind of like a game out there. Uh, Trent Williams, for instance. How different has it been this kind of getting, coming back this time than last year? Uh, it's been a different dynamic having a room spread out. Um, and yeah, walkthrough has been just real sharp. You can just tell we've been together for a while. Um, guys know what to, know how to practice in terms of the walkthrough. We know how to move. We know how to get our fits correct. So, I mean, coach never had to really coach us up on how to um, walk through because uh, all the guys take it pretty serious. So it's just been good just having everybody out there.